do you have sunglasses on in here? <laughs> it's literally, you're the guy filming. <laughs> like, it's just so you can't see the camera. What is going on, guys? Welcome to the show today. We're going to be doing a uh, unboxing, a little bit of a review of a pretty sweet little tachometer, uh, temperature meter, hour meter thing that we're going to be putting on the trike. Ben saw it somewhere, uh, bought one on Amazon, and he bought like three more of them. So we're going to try and stick it on the trike and see what happens here. So are we actually going to take them out of these boxes? or? I don't know. We'll just do like some camera magic where like I put this down and then it's like, oh, there's what it looks like. Sure. So these are called a run leader multifunctional meter. Got the digital display here. You have the wiring harness that plugs in, which is going to have your pickup for your RPM. And then it's going to have your temperature sensor, which is in this copper ring. So this here, actually your spark plug goes right through that. I'll go grab a plug. So pretty much the conclusion we've come to is we're going to pull this heat shield off and then we're going to get a little better access to be able to fit the, the big copper eyelet underneath the spark plug. This is terrible. What, what, do, you, what freaking, do you want me to say? You're just freaking, sounds like you're reading a script. I'm just that good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that what it is? Well guys, we're going to do this and that. That's what we're going to do. Am I lying? <laughs> You could put this on anything. Put it on a forklift, snowmobile. I forget what it said. Like anything, I don't know. You'd have to look. But there's some stuff you can't put it on. Right here. Put it on a six stroke two cylinder. Put it on a four stroke 16 cylinder. You put this thing on anything, man. So what would you say about the uh, quality of it? I think it looks pretty good. It's got a bunch of different numbers on here. Well, it lights up. Bunch of different could, like, buttons. Get a button on there. Hit a like, button. That's the green button. Ooh. Dang, it was just telling me minus 20 degrees Celsius. Got that heat shield off, uh, get this spark plug out and get our temperature sensor on. Good one. <laughs> Hilarious. I was gonna say, you think we should run it out here? I just don't wanna get pinched by that heat, heat yeah. shield. So Ben installed the eyelet, wrapped around the cord a couple times around the spark plug, and that's it. Pretty much just zip tie the wires up, clean it up a little bit. We yeah, should gonna figure go. out where we're going to actually mount this. It'd be nice to mount it here, but I don't... Oh, that'd to be see perfect. If the, let's see if the mount's tall enough or not. What do you end up doing? So, I got that mount that we got extra for this, and then it's a little too short, so I just kind of zip-tied it on there. It's less than ideal, but it'll, uh, it'll work until we get a mount made. So, if you look at the tools we love, these side cutters... Awesome for snipping zip ties. Damn. My favorite pair. And this is still the first set. Really? Yep. You gonna put a link for that down in the look description? How, look how close of a cut that is. You're going in there, you're busting your knuckles all bleeding. Not with these things. That's uh, one of the best kept secrets. And those are genuine dowels, if you guys were wondering. Oh. Link below to get those things on Amazon. Those might actually be do wells. Oh. It's French. <laughs> Give me the serious features here, Ben. Okay, so like this thing is in all seriousness pretty sweet. So it's going to show us our time in 24 hour format. It's Why are you yelling? Huh? Why are you yelling at me? Why do you, you always say I'm not loud enough? <laughs> so because you need to hear this. So back to what I was saying. We got our TOT, our TOT, total hours of operation. You got your hour meter initial time setting. So you can use this to switch out your old hour meter say if you had a different one and you already had so many hours on the bike you could program that in you got your hours since the timer was last reset you got maintenance intervals Ooh. Uh, we have rpm alert so if we say we wanted to set this for a certain rpm that we didn't want to go above it could actually alert us uh, it shows and recalls max rpm it has all these different firing orders for different engines you can set the over temperature alert. So once again, if there's a temperature you don't want to go over, it'll alert you. Select between Celsius or Fahrenheit. Ooh, for all our Canadian friends. Oh, yeah. And then uh, you got some choice in backlight and you can record your engine start. So yeah. record the times of engine start. So if you want to know how many uh, times your kids are out there uh, starting up your lawnmower, Perfect. You know, you've been looking for a uh, solution. There you go. So I did go through and I set this for a four-stroke single cylinder. Uh, it was the second setting. Let's get this thing down and start ripping. Wait, 
But it's like perfect. You can see it perfect from here. Damn. Seated. Seventy three degrees. So we just fired this up and I went off this chart and it says the 1P2R is four stroke, one cylinder, one spark for two revolution. And then it says, note, some four stroke, one cylinder engine is 1P1R. So we're gonna try going back to that original setting and see if that works because it was saying I was hitting like 8,000 RPM when I know that this thing's limited to 6,000, so that's not even possible. And it wasn't even tacked up that high. Switch that setting back, and it's supposed to idle at 1,600, the book says, and we're at, what, 2,600 now? So we'll switch that back and see if that that jives a little better. We're reading like 1,200 now. They want it to be 1,600. We could probably crank the idle up a little bit more. solves the issue keep this thing in the factory setting in the 1p1r for this for this for the ghost that it comes with that's the correct setting um, we're idling around 1500 1450 and wide open we're holding about 3000 rpm the whole entire time here in the parking lot so it's pretty cool we're up to 214 degrees 212 so there's a link down below in the description if you guys want to pick one of these up. They're like 20, 25 bucks, something like that, crazy cheap. Uh, the one that I had before was a works connection one, which that one it was about double the price. So these things are on Amazon, like I said, for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Link below, check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video real soon. Peace.